Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 140. And what I want to show you today is this insert function window. I want to show you how it works and a good application is for VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a bit of a complicated function if you're new to it. There's a bunch of different things going on and the insert function window is a great way to attack VLOOKUP. So what I have here just briefly is I have a list of sample patients and some cancer diagnosis codes here and what I want to do is I want to look up what the description is because I have no idea what 190.1 .1 is without looking it up and I've got categories as well and I can do that as you look at my formula I've used VLOOKUP to get both of these let me show you how I can use VLOOKUP to rep let's just replicate what's going on with this description of diagnosis code 190.1 .1. so I'm going to click on a blank cell and go to insert function and one of my recently used functions is VLOOKUP so I'm just going to double click Try to, there we go, double click that. And what the uh, insert function window does is it gives you this window called function arguments that says, hey Nate, look, there's four things that you've got uh, to put in this function. Actually, three of them, the bold ones are required, and the ones that aren't bold are optional values. And I've got a description down here, um, an immediate link to help if I need it, and then watch this and it will show me what the formula result is as I start to enter the pieces of the formula. This little uh, red arrow will minimize the function arguments window and say, all right, Nate, what are you looking for? I'm looking for 190.1. I'm just going to hit enter. And the table array part of VLOOKUP, you'll remember, is where is that 190.1 stored? What's over here on this tab? So I'm going to come over here and do shift, end, and down to get that. And then we'll hit F4 to lock that in and hit return. And that's now ready. Which column do I want? which column has the description of the diagnosis code in it? Well, it's column number two and the range lookup. And again, if, if you're, if it's been a while since you've seen VLOOKUP from Excel video 60 to about 70 in that range has a bunch of examples of VLOOKUP. What this does is it just gives you an easy way to, to display them. I, I know what the lookup value is and Excel is going to tell me, it's like, oh, hey, B2, cell B2 is 190.1. This table there, there's a whole range of things in there. And the curly brackets means there's a whole array of information in these in this set of data. Column index number two is two, false is false, that's easy. And what I've got is an equal C, it's showing me here and here that when I'm done, I'm going to get this I orbit description for the diagnosis code. So I can click OK and there I have it. That's how to make the thing work. And if you're, uh, if you're new to a function and you need help walking through the pieces, the insert function window is the way to go. The other way you can use insert function is let's say that I've got a function here and I'm not exactly sure how this function works and I want to see the pieces. What you can do is you can click insert function instead of on a blank cell like we did the first time we're going to click insert function on a formula the existing cell and it says look, there's the pieces there B2 here's where the diagnosis cards are, codes are column index numbers three and the range lookup you say well, why is that blank and we'll go down here and read it's a logical value to find the closest match to the first column, sorted in ascending order. True, it's true if it's omitted. If you need to find an exact match, it's false. So I could easily put false here if I wanted to, and it shows up false there, and I get head and neck, and that's what I want, and there we have it. That's how to use this insert function feature, and it's very, very helpful if you've got a new or a complicated function. If you've got a simple function like two and three and you want to sum them you, you don't you don't need insert function for that if you've got something with a whole bunch of data in it it's a little bit complicated and you're new to figuring out what all these things are every time you click here it's going to give you a definition it's going to help you every step along the way to get your functions exactly where you want them that's what i wanted to show you today stay tuned next time we're going to start working through some of these functions and show you how they work thanks for watching